Hi, everybody. Welcome to this vinyasa practice with a focus on the side body. If you have a couple of bricks and you like to practice with props, make sure they're to hand just in case. And we're going to begin lying down. So head there when you're ready. On your back, just bring the feet together and let the knees drop out, arriving into Supta Baddha Konasana. Letting the hands just rest wherever feels most comfortable. And just start to breathe a little bigger. Paying attention to the breath and using the breath to expand the chest, not just the front and the back, but also into the sides, the right and the left. Settling into your practice, preparing for your movement ahead. Just enjoy a few more breaths here. When you're ready with the next breath in, send the arms up and overhead and just stretch out the body. Try and get as long as possible on your mat. And then just bending both knees, plant the soles of the feet to the floor. Start to move the arms down alongside the body, palms to the ground. You want to bring your heels as tight to your body as you can, a comfortable distance apart. Pressing down into the soles of the feet, start to lift the hips, moving into bridge pose. At the very top, once the hips are high to the sky, reach the arms up and overhead until the back of your hands hit the floor. From there, gently bring the hands back to the ground. Keep the hips high. Only once the palms hit the floor, do the hips then follow. Bring them to the ground. Go again, two more times. Scoop the tailbone in, lift your hips, squeezing your bum, reach the arms up and overhead. Send the hands back alongside the body, stay strong through the legs and gently lower the hips to the floor. One more time, switching on those leg muscles, squeeze and lift, arms reach up and over, hands gently come back to the ground and slowly bring the hips to the floor. From there, both knees into the chest, relax the legs, reach the arms around in front of the shins, and maybe just have a gentle little roll side to side. Hands moving to the back of the legs, send the legs up to the sky, straightening them out. Have a little circle of the feet, point and flex once the legs are straight. softening the knees. Take a gentle little rock and roll forwards and backwards. Just let the momentum build as you rock through the spine until eventually you come all the way up to sit. Have the feet out in front of you. Let the knees open wide. Reach up and just flop forwards in between the legs. Letting the head drop down. Enjoy a little sway side to side. Just releasing the lower back relaxing the neck and the shoulders, just feeling a little bit of space into the outer hips. Coming to the middle, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, relax and fold. Slowly start to lift up the head. Nice and easy. From here, let's cross over the ankles, roll forwards into downward facing dog, or however is most easy for you. Just stepping the feet back, lifting the hips, adjust the hands. And once you reach your downward dog, just start to bend and stretch the legs. Getting a little bigger into the back of the body. Arms are nice and long, and we just start to access a little bit more of the side body. And eventually coming to relax in down dog, maybe keeping the bend in the knees and staying on the balls of the feet until the back of the legs get a little uh, more warm, more open. 
Inhale here. Sending the gaze forwards, walk your feet to your hands and just let your body dangle over the legs. Nice and soft in the knees, cradle opposite elbow, go for a little sway side to side. Letting the hands come to the ground, bend the knees and slowly curl up through the spine. Rising to stand tall in Tadasana. Now when you get there, just give a little shrug of the shoulders. From the top of the mat, take an inhale, stretch the arms up to the sky. And just gently lean over to the right hand side, just sway the body. Arms go to the right, hips go to the left. From here, bend the knees and just roll forwards down the legs and come to a little sway and stop at the bottom. Bending the knees, kill up through the spine, stand tall once again and we do that to the other side. Sweep the arms up, lean over to the left, sway the hips to the right, bend into the knees, swing down and let yourself fall to the middle. Re curling back up through the spine, return to Tadasana. Next breath sends the arms up to the sky, inhale, exhaling just fold straight to the floor. Into your halfway lift, find length through the upper back, exhaling hands to the ground. Step back to high plank, option here to lower the knees, exhale bend the elbows, stop halfway. Inhale push up, exhale Chaturanga Vinyasa. Get low to the floor, roll onto the tops of the feet, high cobra, up and over, downward facing dog. Adjust the feet underneath you, relax the heels, arms are nice and long, start to breathe space into the armpits. Tailbone pointing to the sky, inhale. Bending the knees, look forwards. Walk, step or jump, top of the mat. Into your halfway lift, exhaling to fold. Inhale, stand up, reach for the sky. And bring the hands back to the heart center and we'll just do that one more time. Inhaling the arms up, into the side bend to the right. Gently lean over, hips go to left. Soften the knees, swing to the floor. <clears throat> Start to curl up through the spine. Standing nice and tall, the other side. Arms go up, inhale. To the left, side bend over. Soften the knees, swing to the ground. Sway comes to a stop. Curl up through the spine. Stand nice and tall. Stretching the arms overhead, inhale. As you exhale, fold forwards, hands to floor. Into your halfway lift, lengthen through the upper back. Exhaling, hands to ground, step back to your high plank, double chaturanga. Exhaling, bend the elbows, stop halfway. Inhale, push up. Exhale, bend the elbows, come onto the tops of the feet, to upward dog. And we move to downward facing dog. Hips go up and back. Relaxing through the heels, length into the upper body. Take another breath in here. And exhale. When you're ready, send the right leg up to the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, knee to nose, drift forwards. Inhale, right leg goes to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot to the top of the mat in between your hands. Steady the legs as you rise the arms overhead, reach up into high lunge. Soften the shoulders away from the ears, dip a little deeper into your lunge. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, twist to the right, left arm goes forwards, right arm goes back. Inhale, return to face forwards, arms up. And again, exhaling, twist to the right to open the arms. Inhale, reach up. Once more, exhale, twist to the right. From here, inhale through the middle. Warrior two, spin the back heel to the floor, open the arms wide. Reverse your warrior, inhale, sweep the right hand down inside your front foot, move to side angle. 
left arm either just up to the sky or stretches up and over. And you really want to feel like there's a little twist through the shoulders. Scoop the belly button in and plug that left little toe into the floor. Staying here, just one more breath. Start to circle the left hand down. Left hand comes to the floor. Roll onto the left toes, find lizard. Let's step the right foot to the back of the mat, move into plank. This is where we're gonna be super strong, bring the feet together. Start to roll onto the left hand and the left side of the feet. Send the right arm to the sky, side plank. Right hand comes to the floor, roll onto the toes, plank, other side. Rolling onto the right, left arm goes up, squeeze the core, left hand comes to the floor. Swap one more time, either side, pivot the feet, right arm to the sky, hand to floor, pivot the feet, left hand to the sky. Well done. From here, lift that left foot up, find your starfish, bend into the knee, drop the toes gently behind you, Open the heart to wild thing. Spin the chest to the sky, take a nice breath in. And exhale, recover. Left hand to the floor, face your mat, find plank, drift forwards, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Double it if you want to. Breath guides the movement. How we go, downward facing dog. Breathe. Onto that second side, left leg goes high, inhale. Knee to nose, drift forwards. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Left foot steps through in between the hands. Rise up to high lunge, taking your time, find your balance. A little bit deeper into the lunge, soften the shoulders down, inhale. As you exhale, twist to the left, right arm forwards. Inhaling, come back to the middle. Two more times. Exhale, twist. Use your core and the sides of the body. Inhale, reach up. One more time. Exhale to twist. Out to warrior two. Go back to the front. Spin the back heel. Open the arms wide. Breathe. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Left hand goes inside left foot, right hand up to the sky or forwards over the head. You can always use a block here or perhaps just bring left forearm to thigh instead. Squeeze the sitting bones underneath you, draw the shoulders down your back. Breathe into that right side of the body, inhale. Exhale, release the right hand, circle it back and down. Roll over onto the right toes, lizard. From here we step to plank. Both feet at the back of the mat, side by side. Roll onto the right hand. Left arm goes up, side plank. Squeeze that core. Left hand to the floor, pivot the feet. Spin onto the left hand side. The right arm goes up. Well done, keep going. And again, to the right hand and lift. To the left hand and we hold it there. Right arm to the sky, side plank. Separate that top leg, lift your right foot. Bend the knee behind you, wild thing. Toes gently to the floor. Look to the sky, spin open the heart. Inhale. And exhale, recover. Well done. Come back to plank, drift forwards. Inhale, vinyasa. Exhale, maybe double that chaturanga if you want to. Upward dog and downward dog. Well done. Feel free to drop to child's pose. Reset that breath. One more standing round. Inhale. Nice big breath here. Let's meet back together in downward dog if you're not already there. From the back of the mat, send the right leg up to the sky, kill the heel to the bum and spin the knee open and just feel that stretch between the 
two thighs. Keep pulling the left hip back in space. Inhale. Bring it forwards, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Step the right foot through in between the hands. Lower left knee to the floor, moving to low lunge. Send the arms up to the sky and just soften the shoulders. Once again, dip into those hips. And we're gonna drop the right arm, sweep the left elbow over and hook it to the outside of your right thigh. And you wanna really feel like you're trying to get your armpit as tight to the leg as possible. Palms touch and draw your thumbs to the chest and then feel like you're slightly leaning back a little bit. Elbows are nice and wide and you just soften the rib cage. Nice big breath in, one more here. Slowly, if you can, start to pick up that back knee. Find this a little bit deeper. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, release, send the arms up to the sky, high lunge. Come back to that open arm twist to the right. Reach the left arm high, inhale. Lean forwards, left hand to the floor, out ahead of you. Shift the weight, float the back leg off the floor, revolved half moon. Right arm stays, reaching for the ceiling. You can use a block under the left hand. Crown of the head is nice and long. Zip up the belly button and really squeeze your left butt cheek. Holding here, just one more breath. Doing well. Slowly left toes land at the back of the mat. Recover to high lunge. Breathe in. As you exhale, fold to the floor. Gently lower the back knee to the ground. Slide the hips back into half split. Option to untuck the toes and go all the way down. If you need to stay up over the back knee, totally fine. Relax the shoulders and just fold a little over the legs. Inhale. Gently recover forwards, planting the hands to the ground, move into vinyasa, step back high plank. Exhale, bend the elbows, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Nice big stretch to release. Second side, left leg goes high. Heel to bum, spin the knee open, just twist. And you wanna feel like both sides of the waist are long. Try not to pinch the right side of your body. Inhale. Knee to nose, bring it forwards. Inhale it high. Left foot steps through to the top of the mat. Nice and easy. Rise the arms up and overhead. And just gently bring the back knee to the floor into your low lunge. Let the hips dip down. Left hand drops. Right elbow reaches across. Use this left hand if you need to, to smush your elbow as far over as you can. Palms touch, lean back, and you're using the top hand to draw the thumbs to the middle of the chest. Maybe even lean your skull back a little bit. When you're ready, pick up that back knee. Try and keep the right thigh super tight, super strong. One more breath. Releasing high lunge, stretch up, well done. Twist to the left once again, open the arms wide. Reverse it, inhale, reach forwards, revolved half moon. Right hand to the floor, float the, left le the right leg off the ground. Left arm is nice and high. Use a block if you need it. Maybe flex that right ankle so you're really squeezing through the right leg, push the floor away. Can you twist those shoulders an extra inch? Inhale. And slowly recover, lower the back toes to the ground, find high lunge, great job. Fold it to the floor, soften that right knee back to the ground. Maybe untucking the toes into half split, sliding all the way back and down. Take a nice big inhale here. And exhale. 
وان مبح Slowly rock forwards. Plant the hands to the ground into your vinyasa. Last one. Step back, high plank. Exhale, get low. Upward facing dog. Go to down dog just to stretch it all out. Neutralize all those twists. Take a breath in. Lengthen the side body. From here, gently lower, lowering the knees to the ground. Untuck the toes, sit the hips back, and come to rest in child's pose. Recover the breath. And just soften your body. Moving the hands under the shoulders. Just lift the head to sit up. And taking your time, just slide the hips off to one side. Bring the legs around in front. Scooch forwards to the top of the mat. We're going to come back to butterfly, Badokanasana. So bend into the knees and open the knees wide. Soles of the feet together. Take a nice big stretch. Lean forwards and just drop the head down inside the legs, maybe add that sway if that feels like a nice release. Slowly start to lift your head. And we're gonna keep the left leg as it is. Just lean over to the left hand side and just bring the right leg out behind you, just so it's kind of off to the side of the hip. Keep a little distance between the heels and your, your body. You create this zigzag with your legs. From here, twist gently the shoulders over that front thigh and just lean forwards into deer pose. And we just wanna feel a little bit of compression in the left hip. Let the right leg completely relax. And we just start to open this left glute, left outer hip. Dropping the head down, using the elbows for support. Enjoy just another few breaths, starting to head towards rest mode, slowing everything down. The body is getting heavy. And when you're ready, just pushing gently away from the ground to sit up. And from there, just leaning onto the left, Ease that right leg back around. Stretch out both legs just to release the shape and go for a little wiggle of the knees. And then we'll swap sides, soles of the feet together. Taking a lean over to the right, sweep the left leg around. And again, you create this zigzag shape for the legs. Body turns over that right thigh and you lean forwards. And we just start to relax into this right hip. You want to feel like every muscle is just letting go. Apart from the few that you might need to hold yourself in the shape, everything else completely softens. And just enjoy a, a moment to pause. Few more breaths here, really just melt into the shape. If 
Feeling that release into the right hip, last breath in. Pressing the ground away when you're ready, lift up. Well done, slowly bring that left foot nice and gently back around. Lean back on both hands, stretch out the legs, go for a little wiggle. From here, let's sit up, both legs out ahead, take a nice big stretch up. Lean forwards over the legs. Grab whatever is available, take an inhale, draw the shoulders back and down. Exhale and fold. Inhale, two more breaths. Lengthen both sides of the waist and fold. One more here. Inhale. Bowing the head down. Slowly recover, peeling up through the body. Slowly easing your way all the way back. Scoop in the belly button. Use your hands if you want to. Coming to lie all the way flat. Take a nice big stretch. Reach the arms overhead when you get there. Open the elbows out wide, little bend into the arms and just plant the soles of the feet like we did at the beginning. This time, let's just sway the knees side to side, adding in that little twist. Get rid of any final tension or tightness in the body. And then when you're ready, bring the knees back to the middle. Maybe hug them to your chest. One last little squeeze. And relax into Shavasana. Just open the body out, be a starfish on your mat. Nice big breath in. And exhale. Just enjoying this final moment at the end of your practice. Just a little stop, a stop of movement, a stop of thinking. Just a little chance to stop before you head back into your day. If you would like to stay longer in Shavasana, please just stay as you are. Otherwise, breathing a little bigger, start to come back. Back to your body and back to your space, to your room. Wiggle fingers and wiggle toes. Take it to a nice big stretch in your own time. Knees draw back into your chest and from there gently roll over to one side. Using a hand, just press up to a comfortable seated position. At the end of your practice, just notice how you now feel. To close, we bring palms together at the heart center. Thank yourself for the time and the energy you've given to your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for tuning into this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this vinyasa flow. Uh, my name is Katie. I've got a few more videos on my channel. I'm slowly growing it, so I would love to hear what you think. If there's anything you would like me to explore, do let me know, get in touch. You can find me on uh, Instagram, I'm at Katie Silves. And I've also got a membership for some full online classes. Head to my website, the link is in the video. 
Until the next time, guys, thank you. See you soon.